Let's see. Am I live? I think I'm live. Can you guys see me? I'm telling you, this is like crazy challenging for me. Um, I'm trying to figure this out. This is just so frustrating. Let's see. I see there's some people on. Yes. Yay. 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 Hi, guys. Hi, Joanne. Hi. Oh, gosh. No, they're, they're going in so fast. I don't even have time to say hi to everybody. You guys, I, I'm so excited. There's so many of you coming on here so fast. Um, I have just spent the last, oh, let's see, hour and a half trying to figure out how to do this on my laptop. And hey, Pam, my friend Elizabeth, I, I even had my son trying to help me. This is not so easy, you guys. And, you know, we all know, those of you that watch me know, I have technology challenges. <laughs> ah! I really so badly want to be good at it. And I keep wanting to not say that I have technology issues. Hi, Tina, Rebecca. Um, but I swear, I, I, I need like a live-in somebody that can just tell me how to do this stuff. It's so frustrating. <laughs> Yes, uh, Barbara, it looks like you are doing this right. You are you are in. I see your comment. And hey, Tennessee, Cookie, and Patricia, and Judy, and I'll do my Miss Marianne impression. I need my mirror. And I see my friend Carla, and my friend Judy, and my friend Patricia. Hey, guys. So... <laughs> Wow, this is exciting. So I guess it really does help that I sent out the email to everybody to let you guys know that I was going to go on. That was that's all a whole new whole new technology thing for me too. I had to figure out. Um, and the, the, this is going by so fast. So I, I need someone to help me with even reading all this stuff, you guys. Oh, on on that note, I don't know if you guys are familiar with at all um, something called super chat um, I promise you I'm not want, telling you about it so that I can get money from you I, I'm not at all but comments fly through and if you guys have questions there's something called super chat and hi nai nay um, and I'm not even sure if it's enabled for this or not, but there's somehow somewhere on your screen where you can go to somewhere where you type in. And if you put in, I don't even know what the minimum amount is, it will, um, oh, congrats, Elizabeth. It will like highlight your comment, <coughs> excuse me. And it will also keep it on the screen a little longer. So if you have a question or something that you want an answer to, or you really want me to see, because I mean, these are flying by, I kid you not, they are flying by. Um, so it's really hard for me to get the chance to read them. And my son, unfortunately, is busy doing other things. I was gonna have him help me. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, technology is an issue for me. And, you know, I, as I said, I'm trying to put that positive thing in where, um, Okay, gosh, I'm so distracted. Rebecca, I am so sorry that you hurt yourself. That's terrible. And I wish I could sign your cast and decorate for you. I'd totally bling it out and stuff. Um, so uh, Rebecca fell and broke her wrist, I believe it was. She had messaged me, you guys. So everybody send well wishes to Rebecca to get better. So, all right. Um, first of all, I always want to get to the announcements first and um, the announcement that you guys are all here for. Uh, oh, there's a little dollar in the chat bar and starts from $1 and up. So, um, sorry, for those of you that missed what that is, is Elizabeth is telling us there's a dollar sign in the chat bar and when you hit that, I guess a dollar minimum, it keeps your um, comment on the screen a little longer. So that way I'll see it, it also highlights it. And apparently, the higher the amount, the longer it stays on there. Sorry. Um, so again, I'm not telling you that because I want you to do that, but if you have a burning question or something, a comment that you really want me to see, that would probably be the way to do it because then it'll keep it there a little bit longer. 
Hello from Michigan, Patricia. I mean, hello from California to Michigan. So, all right, you guys. So our, here's not necessarily this little bling keychain, but oopsie, but this is the type of bling keychain and they're so cute. Um, I feel like my screen may be dirty. Uh, okay, so anyway, I have these in different colors and you can pick the color if you're the winner. And uh, thank you for the thumbs up, whoever my four people that gave me a thumbs up were, because I don't know who that was. But I have these in different colors and every first of the month we do this drawing and hopefully you guys are in the U.S. because I discovered that it's quite costly for me to ship these outside of the U.S. So I'm really sorry that I won't be able to do them for outside of the U.S. But if you're within the U.S., it's still a little costly, but you know what? You guys are worth it. So, um, all right. So, you know, here's my handy dandy notebook. And in here we have the winner announcement. So are you guys ready? Who's ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. I want to see. I'm going to watch. So we're at 11 right now. 12. Come on, guys. I know you're dying to know the burning question. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Well, that's there you go. Awesome. All right, you guys. Here is the winner. And then we will get on to chit chatting for whoever does feel like staying on here and chit chatting. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. The winner is. Joan Olson. So Joan, I hope you're on here. I don't know if you are. If you are, you can let me know right now what color you want. Um, and the colors are there where you went to click to sign on um, for to enter the drawing. There's a picture there. So I think there's a, like a light pink. This is the dark pink one. There's a like a really cute green and a burgundy. And I can't remember what other colors. I think that might be it. But anyway, it's on the picture, so you guys can see it on there. So yay, everybody congratulating Joan. I love it. Okay, so now that we know that Joan's the winner, I want to catch up with you guys. And thank you all, all of you that were um, on my last live, and for all of you that know that my doggy had surgery, and we were so concerned, worrying if everything was gonna be okay, if he had cancer or what was going on. Well, just to update you all, he is doing great. He had his little toe amputated and they biopsied it and it was not cancer. So that was huge relief for me because I was a big freaking stress case for like, I probably cried for 10 days, I don't even know, until I knew what was going on. but. He's doing great. He's recovering. He has to wear his funky little cone on and off. And giving him antibiotics was unbelievably hard. And we're still in that process. I swear this dog has had smoked salmon, regular um, barbecued salmon. He's had his dog treats. He's had peanut butter. He's had spaghetti meat sauce. Um, I think it's going to take filet mignon to get him to eat. <laughs> to take these antibiotics and these pills because he just does not he's a sneaky one so anyway he's doing great and um so for any of you just a little fyi here i have um, aspca pet insurance and i will have to tell you don't ever get it if you're thinking about getting pet insurance it's a great thing thanks nancy thanks linda it is great news it's so awesome um, yeah, he does eat. He eats better than all of us, Patricia, seriously. Um, anyway, uh, ASPCA pet insurance, you guys, I won't even get into the big elaborate story of it, but the gist of it is my renewal for that is July 5th, my annual renewal. for And so anything that happens prior to that July 15th, did I say 5th or 15th? 5th, 15th. Anything that happens prior to the July 15th date, they will cover but anything that happens after that is considered what they call manifestation. So meaning, so I clarified this and I've called twice just to be sure that I was not hearing this incorrectly because it's unbelievable. So I, I asked them, so if he gets diagnosed on the 14th of July and then we have to um, have treatment on the 16th of July, which would be in the new billing cycle, um, 
then it would not be covered. So it's absolutely absurd. It's so obnoxious. Giving away a Black Knight account now live. Okay. Um, anyway, and I have not tried cheese because we don't have cheese in the house because none of us do dairy. But anyway, so yeah, if, if he's diagnosed, so I asked them, so if I would have brought him in and you told me he had this problem on his toe on the 14th, and then he needed the surgery and we scheduled it on the 16th, would it be covered? And they said no, because it's considered manifestation of whatever the problem was. I lost my mind on that. I mean, you pay insurance for all these years and then they won't cover it. So anything that happens now has to happen before July 15th if it's relating to this toe issue or it's not covered. So absolutely absurd, but I just want to tell you, shout out in a bad way to ASPCA Pet Insurance. Don't ever, 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 ever get it. If you already have it, I'm so sorry, but just know that. So anyway, um, okay, I don't know if that's boring you all to tears, but I just had to share that because it really was upsetting to me. So let's see what else here that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, how are you guys all doing? Okay, what pill pockets okay the pill pockets so he bites into it and then he spits out the pill he'll eat the surrounding thing and spit the pill out so we have tried to be really creative <laughs> so we've now gotten to the point where we're using a syringe we crush up the pills and we add chicken stock and then um, put it in a syringe and i squirt it in the side of his mouth and that's the only thing that works and uh, i was losing my sanity because we had eight hour medications every 12 hour and some that were 24 hours. And then there was a couple of them that two of them have to happen and just ridiculous. So, oh, Avalon, come and do my dishes because no one else does them around here lately except me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Nancy, glad to hear that all is well. So um, let's see what things I wanted to tell you guys. Another thing I wanted to tell you, you may have noticed um, yeah, so I'll tell you, Samantha, the pet insurance is worth it because they are covering. So we were up close to around $7,000 in um, expenses and stuff. Oh, we did peanut butter too. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, around $7,000 in expenses and they are covering quite a bit of it. The problem is that if it's not done by the 15th, then they're not gonna cover the rest of it. So that's where it, it is worth having, but just make sure you pick a, a company that has that does not have that really freaking weird stipulation to it. Cause it's, I, I told them that's gonna make people wait until like the day after their renewal to even take their pet to the doctor because then that way they'll have the whole year. Cause what are you supposed to do? You're, animals supposed to get sick according to your renewal date it's just wow anyway okay i just wanted as you guys have noticed and probably probably noticed i don't know i am not posting quite as many videos um as i was initially um so i was finding it to be a lot of pressure and i was trying to get out two to three videos every week every week every week and i was like stressing out and it was really taking a toll on just life my family and everything and i was completely focused on that and um oh montana i was just in montana joan i could have brought you your keychain <laughs> um so it was really hard and i was totally stressed out trying to do videos all the time and i started to try and evaluate what's important uh in life so I was really putting pressure on myself because there's a couple of other YouTubers that started in the craft. Um, hi, Michelle, in the same craft, what do you call it, um, genre, kind of like what I'm doing. And they started around the same time at me. And one of them is up over, I think she's over 100,000 subscribers. Another one is at like 85,000 and I'm at 24. And I was thinking, oh my God, why? And I need to work harder and they're getting their videos out. And why am I not up? And finally, it was making me so crazy that um, I just figured I need to run my own race and I need to do it at my own pace. And I also really try hard to make things unique and different for you guys. And I feel like so much of what's out there um, 
is just remakes and remakes and remakes of the same things like gluing together different stacked glass pieces or things like that or you know um anyway I, you guys know because i know you guys watch a lot of these do you guys find that a lot of things start to seem like you're seeing the same projects over and over um on people's channels because is it just me that i feel like that or i mean so anyway i decided to really kind of focus on what's important and um, and that is my family and my life and my sanity. And so, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I could just sit here and read these all day and not even talk. I mean, it's so fun. Um, thank you, Sharon. I try really hard to do things that are different. And so I have tons and tons of ideas, but I feel like I just, um, people are putting out lots and lots of videos and I don't know if that's what's getting them more subscribers or, or what, or maybe they're just, I don't know, better crafters. I'm not really sure. Whatever, whatever it is, I'm running my own race. I hope you guys stick with me, even though I'm only posting maybe every seven to 10 days or whatever. Um, but I feel like, you know, that's what works for me and life is good and I just need to kind of do that. And it, I thoroughly enjoy um, doing craft projects for you guys and chatting with you guys. And did you all see my latest one? Thanks, Rhonda. Um, thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. You guys, you guys are the best. Um, thank you, Esmeralda. And I see you always commenting on my stuff. All of you guys that are on here are the ones that are always commenting on my... Um, no. Do you think so, Elizabeth? They buy their subscribers? I don't think so. Really? K.A.S., what's your name? Another fellow Greek. What is your name? Tell me, tell me. Um, I will always be myself, and sometimes myself is a little raw. <laughs> but um, thank you, Michelle. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. And I I have fun doing this. I like doing this. And so I, and I, I love chatting with you guys. So um, I'm going to keep doing that. So here's another thing I was going to ask you guys. Oh, first off, did you all see my latest video? I'm not sure if you did. It hasn't gotten a whole lot of views, and I'm curious to, as to why. Oh, there's my friend, my, my Greek friend, Amalia. <laughs> Hi, Filenava. Um, okay, gosh. So, um, yeah, that the, the latest video has not gotten a ton of views. I'm not sure why exactly, if it's my thumbnail, it's not attracting people, if it's just too easy of a project or what, but I have more projects similar to it, and I'm not sure if that's something you want to see more of. I have another one in mind. A lot of them that have come in up are kind of simple ones, kind of self-explanatory, but it's just putting the idea out there. So, um, uh So anyway, um, gosh, totally lost track of what I was even talking about. I was going to tell you something else. Um, different, but then okay, trying to read that fast. So anyway, oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Hey, Kula, Ticanis. So um, what I was going to ask you guys is, Oh my God, look at that fast. I forgot it again. <laughs> Can you say ADD? Um, okay, I got it. So my trip to Montana, we went to, my husband went to school in Montana for eight years. <laughs> I know, I, I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> um, so he went to school in Montana for eight years and it had been 29 years since he had been back there. So um, we went to a friend, we found a friend of his who is a songwriter for a lot of famous uh, people out there like Patti Loveless, those of you who are country, uh, country fans, country music fans. Anyway, we went and met him, I went and met him, and he has the coolest collection of stuff the coolest collection of stuff, like a really eclectic, really cool stuff. And I took a video of it and I was going to post that next um, as one of my next videos. Well, I'm away for the weekend. I'm going to sort of um, edit that and get that up for you guys. 
And I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in seeing that, totally unrelated to crafting, but if you're into um, uh, antiques and collectibles and unusual paraphernalia, he just has some of the coolest stuff. Uh... Yes, I am live right now. I didn't even see who that was that posted that, but it's actually live right now. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lacey. That is so sweet. I don't know how I'm an inspiration, but I accept. <laughs> I accept. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna be posting that video. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it. Bear with me on it. It's kind of cool if you stick through it. Um, so, it's about 20 minutes long. You could probably zip through some of it, but there's some really cool little things if you do like that. And then he actually recorded a song. I, I, I recorded him playing a couple of the songs he's written. And I don't know if he's actually, those songs are out there yet, or if they're just songs that he kind of keeps to himself. But that was something, oh, okay, Avalon, I'll catch you later if it doesn't fix. Take care, you too. Um, so anyway, I, I thought it was kind of cool and really interesting and sort of fun. So what I was thinking to do, and you guys let me know if this is something that sounds interesting, is to put his song up with a little bit of him playing and then some pictures from our Montana trip. And I know that my Montana peeps might like to see that, but man, what a great trip that was. It was so much fun. We got to see some really cool stuff. And man, I'm kidding. People that don't believe in God, and I'm sorry if I'm offending any of you maybe that are out there that don't, but people that don't believe in God, I don't know how you can see such amazing creation and nature and not believe in God because some of the colors and the just the, the hot springs and some of the amazing things that I saw on this trip, it's just it was beautiful. So I didn't know what I was missing all this time. And I got to tell you, my favorite probably place of all of Montana was Whitefish. It is such a cute town. No garbage, not even a toothpick or a gum wrapper on the street, which was so cool. So, hey, Kentucky. Hi, Sandy. Um, his beauty is all over, Joan, that's for darn sure. And I think there are so many little miracles in and around us every single day that we don't even notice. And I mean, seriously, if we stop to look at every little miracle and every little amazing thing that happened in our day, we wouldn't have time to think about or do anything else because just, I don't know, I'm in awe of, of things. Yeah, Montana's amazing, Debbie, yes. East Tennessee here too. I've never been to Tennessee. There's so many states I have not been to and I would love to go to. And um, <laughs> yes, God is the best DIYer of all time. So, and we got just a little inkling sprinkle of a sparkle of his um, craft abilities. I mean, gosh. So, yeah, so guys, I don't know, what's your favorite place, some of your favorite places to go? I, I'm I usually, because I have family in Greece, we go there every summer, but I think I really want to try and do some more U.S. places. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, big time. So, um, yeah, so I was also thinking what would be so fun is to try and do um, just a, a gathering. Like if I go to a state where I know that there are a lot of people and maybe in somewhat close proximity. Um, yeah, Shelly, no doubt. No doubt. I'm glad that your diagnosis was good. And I'm glad that you, I don't know if you had cancer, but I'm glad you survived it. And that's for sure that once you have something and you have illnesses or whatever, boy, do you appreciate mm. <laughs> the good things in life. Or just life, even the bad things you appreciate. So um, so in Greece, where in Greece? Gosh, um, all over, but mainly I go just kind of in, in Athens area because I have family in Monastiraiki. And also my sister's not far from there. One of the trains stops away from there. So um 
Joan, you know that you won the keychain, right? I just want to, because I didn't see you saying anything. So, um, Florida. Okay, I've been to Florida once. Um, yeah, I highly recommend Greece. Go to Greece. Um, it's a great place to go visit. It's not a place that I would want to live personally. I think I'm just a California girl at heart, but I'm kind of looking at other places. I wouldn't mind, my husband would like to get out of California. I wouldn't mind finding a state that has beautiful weather because I don't do well with cold. Um, and then he doesn't like hot that much. So we need to find some place that's similar to California weather that will accommodate both of us. And then maybe we'll see. We'll see where our kids end up too. That makes uh, a big difference. Oh, Santa Cruz. Really, Susan? Are you still in the in California and Santa Cruz area? Italy. I want to go to Italy too. Heaven. I'd, lo I'd love to go to heaven, just not quite yet. I, I don't know that I'm ready to go there. <laughs> so, um, cool, you guys. Oh, Great Lakes, Michigan. I've been to Michigan, but just for business, so I didn't really get to go around and see places. But um, I think it's definitely on our list to, um, to go to a lot of the places within the United States because there's some beautiful things. I really want to see Niagara Falls. That's on my list. Um, and yeah, Rhode Island. I would love to go to Rhode Island. I've had like closest, to, I've been to New York for like a day. At, and so I didn't really get to see too much there. Mackinac Island. I don't even know where that is. West Virginia. I bet you guys all think your state is the best state, right? Just like I think California is the best state. <laughs> but I don't know. All right, guys. I don't know. I'm just getting to the point now where I'm just babbling on. So um, let me see if there's anything else I wanted... Oh, I know. I want to know what everyone's doing for 4th of July. We are going to our cabin. So I'm going to try and maybe, I don't know, maybe edit a video or do something from there. So, hi in Alabama. I can't, uh, oh. Renee, Renee. Uh, Renee. Ann Arbor. So, um, hi, Hope. Hi Hope, hi Hope. It's off to work we go. It's off to craft we go. I'm such a cheese ball. I am. That's the only cheese I have in my house is me. I think. <laughs> I know. Anybody that watches me long enough knows how goofy I can get. So, and that's not even. You guys don't even get to see all the goofiness. Centennial Park in Atlanta. Cool. <clears throat> Celebrating Canada Day today. Oh, that's today. So they're close together, huh? So um, that's interesting. Cheese ball with ADD. Totally, Rhonda. <laughs> that is me. That is that is definitely me. You hit the nail on the head on that one. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh my God. Squirrel, totally, yes. <laughs> I better say that quiet. My dog's going to take off running and he's still trying to heal his foot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe, Amalia, that you're still sitting on here. You must be bored. What time is it? 5.30 on a Monday. You're waiting for your hubby to get home, I bet. Uh, I bet. Oh gosh. You know what? The buffering thing is such a drag. Sherry, maybe you'll win next time. You never know. You never know. I don't know, you guys. What should I make for dinner? Help me out here. That's my next challenge. As soon as I get off here, I'm going to start working on dinner. Wow, from Korea. That's awesome. I love it. I, I don't know what your name is, though. So Subway. You're so funny. Well, I don't. Okay, I have crazy eating things too. I don't, oh, taco salad sounds good. Nachos, nachos is a good one. I haven't done that for a long time. Um, but I don't do, um, I don't do dairy. I don't do gluten. I don't do eggs, soy or corn. 
I try and steer away from canola oil. So um, there are lots of things that limit us on that. And I limit them my meat intake too. So um, I can't tell what that is. Anyway, so you know what? Thank you for whoever said taco salad because a skinny girlfriend, what are you talking about? I just love you. Thank you, Rhonda. I'm definitely not skinny, <laughs> but I love that. It's all beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> Anything that doesn't give me heartburn, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, oh, veggie burger, that sounds good. I don't have any, though. So uh, we do... Um, tortilla chips on the bottom and because I don't do corn I found some really good chips that are made out of I forget what kind of root it is my son found them <laughs> yeah right Amalia are you going to come over and make pastizo dairy free and gluten free for me yeah let's do that um so anyway I put the tortilla chips on the bottom those special chips and then we do like black beans and the vegan cheese and then salsa and olives and what else do I put on there I don't even remember what all we put on there, but I haven't done it for a long time. My son puts like the ground beef on there too with the taco seasoning. And um, the wine sounds good. I could do the wine part of it. Shrimp on the bobby. Shrimp on the bobby. I could do that. Um, beetroot chips. I'm not sure if they're beetroot chips, but they're some kind of a root chip and they're really good. And I do, yeah, Susan, I do the diet cheese. It's not bad at all. Um, I steer away from soy and some of those cheese uh, substitutes have soy in them. So, but sometimes, you know what, I just give up. I gotta eat something. So I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. And right now, summer is the best time. The fruits are the best. And that's another thing about California that I love. So just in our backyard over the fence, our neighbors, um, fig tree is hanging over, our other neighbor's plum tree is hanging over, and we have an apricot tree and a lemon tree, and then we planted a persimmon tree. So I uh, have a few, a few options there, but I love fruit. All the summer fruits are just the best. So that'd probably be the, the healthiest thing for me to do. Have a baked potato. That sounds really good too. You know what? I'll make, well, that wouldn't go good with nachos. I was going to say, I have an air fryer. He does his gluten-free vodka. Nancy, girlfriend, we need to hang out. <laughs> Actually, I honestly don't drink that much because uh, when I used to have the problem with my dizziness, it was just so awful that now if I do drink at all, I'm such a lightweight anyway, that if I do drink at all, it kind of reminds me, it brings back the feelings of that dizziness and I don't like that at all all and if you guys think i'm goofy right now while i'm completely not under the influence of anything you should see me after i've had something to drink so even i had one glass of wine when we were in montana one one glass of wine and i was walking funny and i was giggling up a storm everything was hilarious to me so <laughs> anyway <laughs> I, that Rhonda, you are freaking hilarious. Drunk goofy cheese ball with ADD. <laughs> oh my God. I am a happy drunk. I am. Rhonda, where do you live, sister? We need to hang out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, crack, I crack you up. Rhonda is cracking me up big time. <laughs> big time. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys so i oh tennessee okay I, um you can just send me your address i might just pop in one of these days <laughs> oh okay wait california i didn't even see it started with an l i didn't even see who is it in california who my california peeps you need to let me know where you are because it would be so fun to do a, a get together and craft something together um so, see, I was going to say something before I even got distracted with all that stuff. Um, there we go again. Oh, what I was going to say is, and I said it the other time too, so we're at almost 35 minutes of me babbling on and laughing at nothingness. And, um, oh, okay, okay, Windsor. Um, so, this has got to be the, one of the most boring things for people to watch back 
when they are, um, look at, I'm reading and, okay. Um, when they are just watching this and not live and interacting, this has got to be one of the nothingness. What about nothingness? I didn't know. Um, anyway, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, this has got to be one of the most boring things to watch back because I see people's lives and I look how long they are and I don't even watch them. And who knew that they would be having so much fun if they were on our live and being goofy and laughing and having a good time with us? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I'm babbling the babbling nothingness. Yes. Um, oh, cool. You work for an airline, Sharon? How about a friend's companion ticket? I'm I'm always happy to <laughs> to fly out and do a craft with someone if they want to fly me there. I'll even bring the supplies. All righty, let's see what time is it. I don't even know what's going on here. What time is it? It is five thirty eight according to my Alexa app thing. Now she's gonna. Oh, she thinks I'm. It thinks I'm talking to it. Um. And I probably should start figuring out dinner because according to my lovely glue dot, I'm skinny. So I need to eat something and fat enough. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys are the best. I wish you a happy fourth. I thank you for making my Monday awesome. And how do you leave a comment on your YouTube? Oh, you guys just totally reminded me. Oh, and I can't show it because I'm on my phone and I wasn't able. Okay. Um, thank you for the laughs, Rhonda. I am going to make a very quick. So when you guys, um, if you are subscribed and if you hit this, so the um, notification bell thing too, then you should get the in the community tab or whatever when it, uh, people you're subscribed to it pops up like a, on a daily basis whatever people you're subscribed to and i think it shows when i post like a picture and with little comments and things like that i am going to put in there a thing that shows you how to get to the um, description box below. I discovered today because I worked on it with my client, one of my clients while I was doing her hair. Um, ooh, curry for dinner. That sounds yummy. Anyway, while I was doing her hair, uh, we were looking and I did a little um, quick little recording of where the little drop down thing is to see the description box below when you're on your phone and also um looking forward to my next dog i only have one dog i'm not getting another one after this one um anyway to show you guys where the stuff in the description box is and then also to show you how to do that on your laptop or on your desktop so i'm gonna try and oh <laughs> okay susan so my next diy not my next dog okay that makes a little more sense now um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that because I know sometimes people have a problem finding that. So in, in that little community tab thing or where it pops up notifications for people that you subscribe to, um, I'm going to put a little, if it'll let me do a little video clip, I'm going to put that there to show everyone how to do that. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, I don't know if it's really worthy of doing a video on. I might, I don't know. We'll see if I'm, if I'm have extra time and I'm hanging out this weekend, I might throw that up there too. Um, okay, rewind back to the, have a great 4th of July, you guys, and enjoy it, be safe, and what else? But have a blast while you're being safe, have a blast, and if you're a drinker, have a glass of wine for me so you can be goofy too. I don't know, maybe it takes you more than it takes me. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, I appreciate that. And you know what my other problem? Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys this, and this is probably hopefully the last thing that I do before I actually. So I don't know how to end these lives. So <clears throat> um, <laughs> so I always end up, I don't want to look like a dork. So I end up, and it makes the screen black, and I don't really know how to do it. So I'm going to sort of try and... I really have no idea how to do this. Um, 
I am playing with this now to try and figure out. So if I look like a complete idiot, you will know why. Um, and it's not that. If anybody knows how to get out of the live chat, that would be really great. Anyway, if not, then sorry, guys. I look like a big dork. You may be staring at a black screen for a while. Um, but I will show you again. Goodbye, and thank you all for being here, and I will catch you next month. Don't forget, for those of you that haven't already, hit the um, thingy below the um, doohickey. My goodness gracious. The entry to win for next month's keychain. All right, guys. Mwah. Mwah. And bye.